How's it going everybody? I'm Cherokee Ronnie and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about upgrading your front brakes on your Jeep Cherokee. Now, a lot of people put in the 8.8 swap, okay? So they got disc brakes in the back and it stops a lot better. And uh, everybody knows that if they put big tires on a Cherokee, it stops okay on the trails, but when you're on the highway and in town, even with the 8.8, it seems like a drag. You know, it just kind of drags along and then finally stops. Um, this could be dangerous, especially on the highway. If you gotta come to a quick stop, um, if you're driving your Jeep on the road with big tires and you're only using the Ford 88 disc brakes in the back and the stock brakes in the front, I recommend doing this upgrade. Now there's two options today that I'm going to be talking about. Junkyard parts and parts off Rock Auto and I had to get on eBay to look up the knuckles. Now a lot of times you'll get on YouTube and see people doing the brake swap in the front with the WJ knuckle and everything and they drill out the rotors to make it fit the... Um, the XJ bolt pattern um, because the WJ is 515 it's a different bolt pattern but today I'm going to be talking about something it's a direct fit so the first thing you need to source out is a set of WJ knuckles um, I got all the prices on uh, Rock Auto I'll leave the junkyard price and the new prices for everything in the description below I'm not going to be talking about the prices at the junkyard because each date may vary but you're going to need to find a set of WJ knuckles. From 99 to 2004, they're all pretty much the same. The next thing you need to do is get hub spacers. You're going to have to have these. They're cheap enough to buy. Heck, you can even have a machine shop make them. Or if you're handy enough, you can make them yourself. The next thing you're going to need is the caliper brackets. Um, they're actually pretty cheap. If you go to a junkyard, you can almost get the caliper and the brackets together and the knuckle. They'll probably just pull the whole knuckle off. You can probably get it pretty cheap, actually. Just depends where you're at. And then you're going to need the caliper. Now, the calipers are dual piston, and they're a lot better than the XJ. And you're going to need the brakes, uh, the brake shoes. They're pretty cheap also. And the next thing you're going to need is the rotors. Like I said, a lot of people will go with the WJ rotors, but you don't have to. I mean, it's, it's hard drilling a rotor and getting it right. You can get a 2002 uh, Ford Explorer uh, Sport Track um, rotors for this swap and they'll fit and it's the same bolt pattern and they're also 12 inch. So it, it works, it works perfect and there's no drilling and it's all direct bolt on. Um, and you don't forget your caliper bracket bolts also and your caliper um, bolts, all that stuff. This little stuff like I didn't add up because if you go to a junkyard, you can get that stuff pretty cheap. And another thing you're going to need to actually fit the um, WJ knuckle is you can use the stock ball joint on the top, but the lower ball joint, you got to go to a WJ ball joint because it's longer. You can use your XJ wheel bearing in the WJ knuckle. Um, if you're going to do this junkyard, um, I recommend going to like a pick apart or a pull apart because the knuckles you can get for super cheap, um, the brackets you can get for super cheap, and honestly, if you can find calipers that are good, which you can, you can do this 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 swap for a lot cheaper than what we done it new. Um, the new price ain't bad, it's like $327 or something like that. And the junkyard price that I added up around here is about two something. So you could probably do it cheaper. Uh, just depends what state you're in and if you go to a pool part. I didn't go to a pool part. I just called junkyard. So you could probably do this swap a lot cheaper if you do it at pool part. So that's how you upgrade your front brakes because the the Ford Explorer Sport Track brakes are 12 inch rotors. 
Um, so they're a lot bigger and they'll help you stop and honestly it's a direct bolt on why not do it if you're running big tires you might as well do it or if you just want to go ahead and do the upgrade if you do the upgrade I recommend writing everything down that we talked about in this video and putting it in the glove box because if you sell the Jeep this stuff slips your mind I bought a Honda Civic one time that somebody did a brake swap out of an Integra and I wasn't told and I had to figure all this stuff out on my own. So if you do anything like that to your Jeep, make sure you write that stuff down, put it in a folder, put it in your glove box. But this is how you do a brake, uh, a big brake kit on your Jeep for less than 300 bucks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see a video of the big brake kit, just let me know in the comments below. The reason why I didn't really film a video because it's self-explanatory. It's nothing fancy. If you worked on your XJ, you know how to put that stuff together. If you studied the forms, you know what you're doing. And if you watch videos, you know what you're doing. You just do the same thing. You just use these parts. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends.